It's the KSO Show. I'm Derek Young. You probably just listened to what our offensive observations were from day two of fall camp. Obviously not in pads yet, but the defensive line was probably not exactly the way that we envisioned it yet. It, it didn't appear that Timmy Horn was maybe all the way available today. He was, you know, in and out of the lineup a little bit. So in the first unit on the offensive line, or defensive line, excuse me, Boo Massey and Khalid Duke were the defensive ends, as, as one might expect. Defensive tackle Eli Huggins, as one might expect. We saw a lot more Tyron Tallini, actually, on the interior of the defensive line. Linebackers, the starters were no surprise. It was Daniel Green, and it was Cody Fletcher. That's been the two that have been talked about the most throughout the offseason, so it was no shock to see them man the first, uh, the first line today at the linebacker spot for K-State. Uh, and when you got to the second unit, we didn't see Wayne Jones or Eric Munoz. We saw more of them in, when they went to seven on seven action, not necessarily 11 on 11 scrimmage action, as they were more with the freshmen and trying to, I guess, integrate themselves more with, with the Kansas State defensive linebacker because the twos a linebacker today seemed like it was a former walk-on, now a scholarship player, Nick Allen, and of course, Austin Moore too, that's been raved about for actually a year or two as a walk-on that really has a chance to leave this mark in Manhattan for it's all said and done. Ryan Hennington also got some of the snaps today at linebacker as a reserve. In the secondary, Morris Brown, but, um, you know, just like they've said throughout the offseason so far, was the starting nickel that we saw today with the backup being Ross Elder. We perhaps think Reggie Stubblefield is eventually going to man the nickel rule a little bit more, but today we didn't see that. Julius Brents was not available in the time that we saw. He was dressed, so if he's being hindered by anything, it's definitely not serious as he's to, did take part and participate in, in some of the um, some of the practice drills today, just not the ones that we, was available for us to see. Be, so for that, the, the starting quarters were Echo Boydo, which is no surprise, and T. Denton actually, and the backups were Justin Gardner and Reggie Stubblefield. So Reggie Stubblefield was playing a little bit more corner today with Brent's not available. Safety, no, no shock that it was Jerome McPherson and Russ East taking the starting uh, starting roles, and with their backups being Sincere Mason and, and T. J. Smith. So. A lot of the stuff came together is what we might expect on the defense. Just a, it sounds like there might be a few guys with uh, some some just a little nagging injuries here and there that aren't deemed to be serious at this point. Um, another uh, injury that I didn't touch on in the first segment when I, we spoke about the offense, still no Sebastian Taylor yet. We don't know when he'll be available. Obviously, he got uh, hurt in the last game of the season last year and still hasn't fully recovered or been fully cleared. Talk about guys that really stood out on the defensive side of the ball today. I thought Nate Matlack actually is a backup defensive lineman. When they went to the one-on-one -on -one drills, he was probably the most effective defensive lineman that we saw in those pass rushing drills and the, uh, when they went one-on-one -on -one with some of the offensive linemen. Uh, deep, uh, I would also say Amaris Brown and Nickel is actually probably the most impressive defensive back. I think he probably was challenged the most, so we had more opportunities in front of him to make, but he, he cashed in when, when his number was called on that side of the ball. Uh, you've heard the offense, now you've heard the defense. Stay tuned to, K to our YouTube channel and k Stan Online for more shows as we continue to update the progress and all the, uh, the I guess, developments that m might take place throughout fall camp. I'm Derek Young. You've been listening to KSO Show. Tell your friends.